Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Juice Deuce from Rochester Mills is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try Juice Deuce. Took me about five times to get that out. This was $3.69 at Hoffman Street Grocery. Um, this is the rest of it from Untapped is Juice Deuce Uncut Double New England Style IPA. And on here it just says Juice Deuce Uncut. Um, I'm not sure if this is like the big brother to Juice Bigelow or not. Um, I, I think uh, Juice Bigelow, I did not review. Uh, no Hype did review it. So if you want to go check his out, you can. But the top is standard where I think the Juice Bigelow, the whole entire top came off. Um, it's... It has 10, 11, 18. It doesn't say drink by or best by or obviously it's not the canned on date because we're about five months from that date. Um, it does have the IBUs on here, which are 69. So untapped is wrong. Uh, ABV is 8.5. This is one pint, 16 fluid ounces. Um, citrus, fruity, uh, hopped aroma flavor, double IPA, deep orange in color, soft mouth feel. What is that? Velvet with a question mark. Let's go ahead and get it into a glass. See what we get. I, wow, I can smell it from here. It smells like a fresh packet of hops that you open. Okay, we'll stop there. Head is off-white, kind of orangish. Uh, bubbles are compacted, small together. About a finger and a half of head bubbles on the side are like just soap, they're compacted together. If we look at the color, it is a little bit hazy. Uh, for a New England IPA, I would say this is more of a double IPA. Orangish in color, um, lots of bubbles coming up. I can see through it, I can see the light, so I would not fall on the side of a traditional style New England IPA for the looks. Let's get a smell. Big fruitiness in there, some citrus coming through. I am not getting alcohol. The, the uh, fruitiness is like a ripe mango, pineapple, orange kind of smell. Some malt. I am picking up some malt from it now. Yeah. Yeah, actually now that those bubbles have started, or stopped popping, I should say, it's more of like a orange peel uh, maltiness. But yeah, when it first came up, I don't know if it was from opening it, opening it and pouring it, but it was like a rush of fruit but now it's more of that malt. Yeah, citrus malt. Yeah, it smells the same. Okay, let's go ahead and get a drink. It is starting to warm up a little. I did have this at work in the fridge. I took it out, put it in the car, drove home. So it is a tiny bit warmer. Um, to me, you get that citrus more than that fruitiness in there. Up front. Yeah, that th there is some fruitiness, but that citrus up front really sticks out. It goes into like a sweet malt followed by some pine bitterness. I would say around 70 IBUs is correct for this. You are getting some bitterness in the aftertaste. Um, I, I get more of a pine citrus mix in the aftertaste than I do anything. For my liking, 
or what I consider a New England IPA or a double New England IPA, I would not put this in that category. I would say this is more of a double IPA. That malt sweetness balances well with that pine, that bitterness in there. More, or I should say, unlike a double New England IPA where you are getting a lot more of that fruit in there. Yeah, yeah, that malt sweetness, I pick up on it right away in the taste. Um, for me, I would probably have to go with a 3.75 out of 5. It's definitely a good beer. It is not, like I've been saying to me, a New England IPA, a double New England IPA. That malt citrus pininess is way too high for a New England IPA. Yeah, I do like the citrus taste in there, though. If we look on Untapped, uh, five of my friends have rated this average 3.9 out of 5. Uh, almost 400 people have rated this average 3.83, so I am a little bit lower, but I do not like that big malt taste in beers, and this does have it. It's not as bad. Uh, but it's it's there. Uh, Mike gave it a 4.25. Tons of juice. I do not get a ton of juice in this beer at all. And no nice amount of pineapple. Nope. No pineapple in this beer. Yeah. Yeah, so um, definitely one you should try if you like the sweeter malty beers. Definitely one to pick up. Uh, let me know if you get that juiciness out of there. Tons of juice. I'm not getting tons of juice. No. I get more of a sweet malt pine than anything. Like I said, up front there is some... Of that fruitiness citrus but I don't know if most of these people haven't had like a treehouse or a trillium beer um, but yeah this this to me is not a New England IPA so let me know what you think down in the comments don't forget to check out 31stbrewing.com pick up a shirt help us support or help support us I should say and until next time happy brewing